A cast iron pipe of uh, external diameter 60 mm, internal diameter of uh, 40 mm and of length 5 meters is supported at its ends. Calculate the maximum bending stress induced in the pipe if it carries a point load of 100 newtons at its center. So here uh, there is a cast iron pipe uh, of external diameter 60 mm and internal diameter of 40 mm and uh, length of the pipe is 5 meters and here this cast iron pipe is supported at its ends so end points they can support in the way next calculate the maximum bending stress so we have to find maximum bending stress induced in the pipe and at the same time here is shaft subjected to a point load of 100 newtons at its center okay now so pipe center lo manam apply chesam 100 newtons point load apply chesam okay na so ultimately ikkada find out cheyalasindi maximum bending stress first of all uh, let us uh, collect the given data so it's a straight forward question we have to find maximum bending stress and given uh, external diameter of the pipe external diameter external diameter of the pipe and internal diameter and also given internal diameter external diameter of the pipe so external diameter of pipe is let us say external diameter capital D and internal diameter small d you can take some notations okay so capital D how much? 60 mm given. 60 mm. Internal diameter of pipe is 40 mm. First of all, uh, let us uh, draw the diagram. Okay, na? So there is a hollow pipe. It has internal diameter and external diameter. This, suppose this is a hollow pipe. I'm drawing a rough sketch. So, this is my hollow pipe. It has uh, two diameters. Internal diameter small d and external diameter capital D. External diameter capital D. So here D is external diameter, okay, outer diameter and D is inner diameter. External diameter means outer diameter of the pipe, okay. Next, internal diameter means inner diameter of the pipe, okay. Next, even length of the pipe. So length of the pipe is L, length of the pipe is L. So length of the pipe, how much given? length of the pipe length of the pipe denoted by capital L is equal to I think given 5 meters length of the pipe is 5 meters let us convert it into mm because diameter is already in millimeters so diameter already millimeters long only okay now so length of the millimeter la convert 1 meter is equal to how many millimeters 10 cube millimeter 1000 millimeters okay 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeters unit conversion very important 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeters mm. so here length of the pipe is uh, 5 into 100 uh, 5 into 10 cube uh, mm means uh, L is equal to 5000 mm length of the pipe is 5000 mm next so here uh, this pipe is supported at uh, its ends Okay, no? So simply this is simple. Okay, no? it is sim uh, this pipe is simply supported at its ends. Simply supported at its ends. At the same time, this pipe is subjected to a point load at its center. This pipe is this hollow pipe is subjected to a point load. So let us consider uh, point load P is equal to capital P is equal to. 100 newtons. How much is given? 100 newtons is given. Okay. 
so this load is applied at center of the pipe if you observe if you observe this diagram it resembles like simply supported beam okay now so here this pipe is simply supported at uh, ends and this pipe is subjected to point load at its center so this is like uh, simply supported beam simply supported beam subjected to point load at its center okay so this pipe is a simply supported beam subjected to a point load at its center in case of simply supported beam uh, suppose simply supported beam is subjected to point load at its center what is the formula for maximum uh, bending moment maximum bending moment is equal to you already learned uh, in uh, strength of materials or mechanics of solids in analysis of uh, beams uh, we have a formula for uh, simply supported beam subjected to point load at its center maximum bending moment is equal to capital p into l by 4 pl by 4 so what is p point load and what is l length of the beam okay so maximum bending moment is equal to pl by 4 anyhow here we want maximum bending stress okay so how do we get uh, maximum bending stress so we have to apply bending equation theory of simple bending theory of uh, simple bending or uh, bending equation so that bending what is the formula for bending equation so bending equation ka sle into e into equation m by i is equal to sigma b by y is equal to e by r m by i is equal to sigma b by y is equal to e by r okay na by using this formula we can find uh, sigma b here sigma b means uh, bending stress we can find maximum bending stress okay so in this question unknown is uh, maximum bending stress so only unknown is maximum bending stress we need maximum bending stress sigma b maximum bending stress denoted by sigma b sub x max okay this is our unknown we have to find sigma b maximum so to find sigma b maximum we have to apply bending equation so bending equation bending equation or theory of theory of simple bending from bending equation or theory of theory of simple bending okay no so according to bending equation or theory of simple bending we have a formula m by i is equal to sigma b by y is equal to e by r sigma b by y is equal to e by r okay no so this equation actually this equation is called bending equation okay here m is called bending moment and i is called moment of inertia and sigma b means bending stress and e means eng's modulus and r is radius of uh, curvature of the beam and what is y y is the distance from neutral axis to the outer layer of the beam distance from neutral axis to the outer layer of the beam okay so suppose uh, suppose this is our beam circular beam anyhow here uh, you given circular pipe and this axis is called neutral axis this axis is called neutral axis okay this axis is called neutral axis and distance from distance from neutral axis to the outermost layer or outermost fiber of the beam is is denoted by y okay na this distance is called y distance from neutral axis to the outer layer is y okay. so this is simply we can say that half of the diameter of uh, pipe suppose uh, external diameter of the pipe is how much capital d given 60 mm now y is equal to what y will be half of the diameter okay nothing but radius nothing but radius radius of the pipe outer radius of the pipe so anyhow 
So this is a bending equation. Here I am going to use uh, this equation. M by I is equal to sigma V by Y. He didn't mention anything about Young's modulus and radius of curvature in this question. So that's why I am using only this expression. M by I is equal to sigma V by Y. So here we need sigma V. Here sigma V means maximum bending stress. Okay. So M max means maximum bending moment by moment of inertia is equal to sigma V max. Sigma V max means maximum bending stress by Y. We need only sigma V max. Now transpose Y. Now sigma V max maximum bending stress sigma V max is equal to M max into division becomes multiplication M max into Y by Y. So it can also rewritten as M max by I divided by y m by i divided by y okay now so again reciprocal of i by y y by i okay now now this i by y this i by y is called i by y ratio of moment of inertia and distance from neutral axis to the outer layer okay now so this i by y is called section modulus is equal to z i by y is equal to z here z is called section modulus section modulus okay na? now sigma v max is equal to now sigma v max is equal to m max maximum bending moment by section modulus so sigma v max is equal to maximum bending moment by here z means section modulus okay so here we need bend, maximum bending moment so to find maximum bending i mean maximum bending stress we need maximum bending stress to find maximum bending, bending stress we need maximum bending moment and section modulus so so in this question we have to find maximum bending stress and maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment by section modulus. Okay, this is the formula for uh, maximum bending stress uh, according to uh, theory of uh, simple simple bending. So next step here we, to find maximum bending stress, uh, we need maximum bending moment and section modulus. So maximum bending moment is equal to P L by four. Okay, now. So maximum bending moment uh, in case of a simply supported beam uh, subjected to or simply supported pipe subjected to point load at its center. Okay. Here P is equal to what? Here P means point load. So how much point load? 100 newtons into length of the shaft, length of the pipe, hollow pipe, 5000 mm by so maximum bending moment is equal to so thousand four ones are four twenty five twenty five into five thousand so load unit newton and length unit mm five thousand mm kada now maximum bending moment of maximum bending moment is equal to 25 into 5 125 125 30 so into 10 cube newton m. okay na? so therefore maximum bending moment in this hollow pipe is 125 into 10 cube newton mm next we need section modulus so section modulus that is equal to section modulus here z means section modulus of the halo pipe. Section modulus of the halo pipe. In case of halo pipe, section modulus formula very important. Pi by 32 into capital D power 4 minus small d power 4 by small capital D. So capital D. Now z is equals to pi by 32. What is capital D? Capital D means external diameter of the pipe. External diameter of the pipe how much? 60. So 60 power 4. 60 mm. So 60 power 4 
minus internal diameter 40 mm so 40 power 4 by 60 in external diameter 60 that is equals to let us calculate this value pi by 32 into 60 power 4 6 power 4 means how much 1 2 9 6 0 10 power 4 into 10 power 4 here 60 can be written as 6 into 10 10 6 power 4 1 to 9 6 10 power 4 10 power 4 minus similar here also 40 can be written as 4, 4 into 10 4 into 10 40 4 power 4 256 into of course you can use calculator okay now I'm doing directly that's so. 10 power 4 by 60 so 10 power 4 10 power 4 common 1 2 9 6 means 2 5 6 1 2 9 6 minus uh, 2 5 6 means around us that is equals to pi by 32 into 1 2 9 6 means 10 power 4 common 1 2 9 6 means 2 5 6 1 0 4 0 by 60 if you calculate uh, you will get this value use calculator scientific calculator and you will get uh, around 1 7 approximately 1 7 0 1 7 mm cube unit of section modulus mm cube now we have got uh, maximum bending movement as well as section modulus now we can find maximum bending stress induced in the halo pipe. So maximum bending stress sigma B max is equal to formula maximum bending moment how much? 1 to 5 into 10 to the power of 3 by section modulus 1 7 0 1 7 so here unit Newton mm bending moment unit section modulus unit what? mm cube 1 mm 1 mm get cancelled sigma b max is equal to 1 2 5 into 10 cube by 1 7 0 1 7 if you calculate you will get around 7.346 okay so units newton per mm square bending stress unit newton per mm square therefore maximum bending stress induced in the hollow pipe is 7.346 346 newton per mm square